Hi, this is Mr. Clifford with ACBC Econ, Key Concepts in 60 Seconds. Today we're going to talk about consumer and producer surplus and show, it, uh, show you where it is on the graph. Here we go. Consumer surplus is the difference between what you're willing to pay for something and what you actually do pay. So when you walk into the store, you want to pay 50 bucks for something, you pay 30 bucks, you got $20 consumer surplus. Producer surplus is the other side, but it's for sellers. I'm willing to sell something for $100, I sold it for $150, and I made $50 producer surplus. It's right here on your graph. Take a look. Somebody's willing to pay $8 for whatever product this is, but they didn't. They paid $5. Somebody's willing to pay $7, they paid $5, $6, and $5. This whole area here is consumer's surplus, what they're willing to pay and what they actually did pay. Down here is producer surplus. Somebody's willing to sell it for $2. They didn't sell it for $2. They sold it for five, right? Someone's willing to sell it for three. They sold it for five. So down here is producer surplus. Producer surplus. Now here's what's cool about this. All these producers that have the highest cost, they can't sell it because they can't lower the price less than five. And all these consumers right here who don't really value it, who only value it $4, well, they can't get it. The products naturally go to the consumers who want them the most and they naturally are sold by the producers who can produce them the lowest possible cost. Until next time, done. Time for a bonus round. Consumer producer surplus, let's see what happens when the government comes in and changes this market. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna put in a price ceiling. The price ceiling okay, is gonna affect consumer and producer surplus. Now a price ceiling, as you know, is a ceiling, right? It prevents the price from going up to equilibrium. Let's say the current price we said before equilibrium uh, at equilibrium was five, and the government comes in and says, listen, we're gonna set up a price at three, they're gonna set up a price ceiling. There's your price ceiling. The government says the price can't go above three. In theory, they're trying to help consumers by keeping the price down really low. It's a bad idea, and here's why. When the price is real low, the quantity demanded increases. More consumers wanna buy more, right? Quite a minute. When the price is low, producers are like, ah, I don't wanna produce it. Quantity supply decreases, and as you already know from the other videos, we have a shortage. There's your shortage. Good. Now the question is, what happens to consumer and producer surplus? Well, they're trying to help consumers, so you think that would get bigger, maybe, but producers are obviously screwed. So let's take a look. Producers surplus, you can see, let's continue the supply curve down here. They were willing to sell it for a certain amount, and what they sold it for was not five, they sold it for three, remember, which is the price ceiling. So producer surplus is right down here. Good. The next step is what's happened to consumer surplus. Well, someone was willing to pay for it and they didn't pay five, they paid three, so it's going to be down here. But hold on. This quantity was never produced beyond that point. So if you'll note, take a look, consumer surplus looks funky, right? Consumer surplus is actually going to end up looking like this. And the reason why, what people were willing to pay and what they actually did pay. Whoa, 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 what about that area? Isn't that consumer surplus? It's not. And the reason why, this quantity was never produced. Let's say that quantity is 50. Right? At this low price, producers only made 50 of them. So that there can't be surplus to any products that people didn't get to buy and they didn't get to sell. So that area is something different. That's right, you guessed it. It's called dead weight loss. It's the lost consumer surplus, it's the lost producer surplus that used to exist when the market uh, was at equilibrium at five. Again, this is called dead weight loss. Perfect. Until next time.